What's up guys? Coach Dylan here, martial arts and parkour. I'm gonna show you guys three simple ways to tie your belt. A lot of people don't know how to tie their belt. So this is uh, karate, taekwondo, uh, maybe jujitsu, whatever you're doing, any kind of martial art you're doing out there, this is how you can do it. I mean, I don't think there's a lot of tutorials out there that are teaching how to do this. So let's go with it. Let's talk about how we take it off. The main thing is you do not let it touch the floor. You don't wanna show disrespect to your system, to your martial arts, to your instructors. So never let your belt touch the floor. So we're talking about a martial arts belt and a belt can be compared to a rope in a way that a, a tree rope, like a professional tree rope, when you climb on it, there's many different ways to try tie knots. You have different knots, you have different prusiks. There's so many different ways that you can tie things. There's many ways that you can tie a martial arts belt. So that's the first thing. It's also gonna come down to how long is your belt? Is it too long? Is it too short? Is it just right? Um, and that's, so the way that you tie your belt is gonna depend on the length of your belt. Um, the first way that you could do tie your belt is you make sure both sides are completely the same length. Tying a karate belt is a little easier than doing a lot of different things. So both sides are gonna be equal length and I'm looking at it. And then I take the flat part and I go like this, that way it doesn't touch the ground. I spread my arms out a little bit. I come around the front and come around the front, around the back. And now I'm holding two. And at this point I can adjust. I can make sure they're about the same length here. And I go from that to, I take the right one. So if you're looking here, I take this one and I make sure everything's flat on top of each other. This right one's gonna go over the left one, over the top, you guys see that? And it's gonna go around everything. It's gonna go around inside against your self coming up. And this is the very important part that you take both ends and tighten a little bit. So you adjust your belt a little bit. Now you take the other one and take the other one. It should be a little longer at this point than the one that you just put around. You put it around just one. The one that's right there that you put around before. You put this one around that one, bring it back through to yourself. And when you, when you bring it back to yourself like that, you're gonna see an upside down letter Y. And then you just tighten it and make sure it's about the same. They should both hang down like that. If you have a black belt, make sure that certain things are um, facing on the outside. You don't want the labels backwards. So there's different ways to tie black belt as well. We're gonna show that. So, okay. So that's the proper way to tie this particular belt from the back. I'm sorry, from the front. We did that one from the front. Now, um, say it's too short, it's too long, something's going on and it doesn't work from the front. Just come around from the back. Switch it around, try not to let your belt touch the floor. And you go around one time, tighten a little, come around the back. See, that my belt, I can't tie it this way because it's way too short to tie it this way. This is more for longer belts. So maybe your belt's too long and your waist is a little skinnier. So you need to do it a different way. So you would tie this way exactly the same way as I did it before. I obviously can't do that right now because it's too short. So if your belt is too short, it's too long, you can try either of those two ways. Now I'm gonna show you a third way that I like to tie my belt. Uh, it's old school, we used to call this the black belt way. I don't know if it's still the black belt way because I kind of teach everybody how to do it. But I just simply take the label that I want. So I want this side facing on the left. And I try not to let anything touch the ground. But I take this side and I basically 
hold it to my hip. So I press on it. And I got the labels out here. I press on the belt. I come around one time. Do not let it fall. Do not let it touch the ground. So, and it goes over the top of that first one that I pressed on there. Then it goes around a second time. Boom. So now I'm here. Now, see how this one's way longer? Well, that's gonna change. So you have to adjust things differently to see how your belt goes on. But now it's just like before, only on the side of the hip version. So I grab it, everything. I take this one, I go under and around all everything. And this is where I adjust it up tight a little bit. Pull it. Now this one should be a little longer still. I take this and I flip it in like that. It helps me easier if I do that. So I take this and I point and I flip it in. I take this one now and I only go around that one. So look, I got my finger there because it can help me. I go around that one, pull my finger out. And I have an upside down letter Y forming. I pull it through and everything's pretty perfect at this point. Um, if it's not, so you have an upside down letter Y and if it's not pretty perfect at that point, you can kind of adjust things. So you can get the Y looking a little better. See, like I just readjusted it. The upside down Y is looking a little better. Um, this side's too short, right? This side's too short. So now, I'm, okay, that side was too short. So now I can kind of loosen this up and that's gonna happen guys. So loosen it up and then play with it a little bit. Make one side a little longer. Make one side a little shorter until you figure it out. So then you just play with it, get it perfect, pull it around and then tighten it and then boom, it's way better. So you have to, just like a tree rope, you, ha you have to, there's a tree, like a tree rope, you have to adjust the Prusik on a Blake's hitch or certain professional tree ropes that you're climbing on. You have to adjust that Blake's hitch to make sure, sure that it's tight, that you can actually climb on that rope. A martial arts belt is no different. Like you wanna make sure it's tight, the knot feels good, that way it's not coming undone while you're training. And if it does, then you just fold it up vertically, put it onto a vertical line. That's the traditional way to do it. That way you don't show disrespect. All right guys, I hope that this video helped you. So that's three ways to tie your belt. Um, Practice.